YouTube family, got some exciting news, a quick little update for you guys that I'm really excited about. Um, if you've been following me for a little while, you know I'm obviously cranking out the YouTube tutorials, cranking out the worship songs and lessons and covers. Um, but I've also talked a lot and just kind of been really open about my struggles with anxiety, struggles with worry, struggles with you know, purpose and seasons of depressions through, you know, either my welcome to the channel video, um, uh, my testimony video that I have on here um, early on in this channel, maybe the first year or two, I was doing verses of the week, um, kind of encouraging blogs, focusing on, you know, anxiety and, and worry and fear um, and, and all those things. And then recently, you know, I've been posting some devotional, short devotional content um, that you guys really seem to, to like. So anyways, long story short, um, I've really felt led and pushed to write my own devotion. Um, so over the last few months, I've really been kind of working hard on uh, writing, designing, and putting together my own 21-day devotional um, specifically for hard challenging, painful seasons of life that include anxiety, fear, worry, insecurity, depression, pain, brokenness, whatever it may be. So I'm excited just to, to let you know and, and, um, and show you uh, the 21 day prayer journal and devotional uh, that I've written and it's called 21 day prayer journal for anxiety and depression. And the tagline right underneath uh, says, Finding Biblical Hope, Encouragement, and Victory in Your Trials. So let me show you what each day looks like. Um, we've got, we'll just go to day one. That would be a good place to start. So I don't know if you'll be able to see, but basically we have day one. We've got our anchor verse up here, Psalm 94, 19. When anxiety was great within me, your comfort and presence brought me joy. So we've got that anchor verse for the entire day. And then each day obviously has a prayer that I want you to either um, speak out, um, pray it out loud with conviction and, and boldly, or you can just read through it like a devotion. And these are these are prayers that I've specifically um written over over the years um, in my journals, um, in my prayer books, um, whatever it may be. These are verses and prayers that I've just specifically written. These are things that I pray basically every single day. Um, so I really think uh, these prayers are, are going to be really impactful for you. Um, on the other side, we've got two places here um, where you can do some journaling. You can do some uh, some writing. The first part up here is actually just kind of naming, you know, what am I worried about? What am I depressed about? What's causing me anxiety? Um, we need, we need to write those things out. We need to list those things out. Um, the, the enemy wants us to, to hide in shame and hide those things deep in our hearts where, where no one else can see. And it just kind of gnaws, gnaws away at us. Um, if that's, the right word. So we need to write these things out. And most importantly, we need to invite God into that situation, into that anxiety, whatever it may be. And then the second part, I really love this. Um, I'm just calling it gratitude moments. Um, there was a study done. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it, heard it um, or not, but there was a study done a few years ago. And it basically said it found that that um, gratitude and anxiety can't coexist in the mind, in the brain, at the same time. You can't be anxious and also be thankful and grateful at the same time. They can't exist. So this gives us, it gives you an opportunity here. You know, what are you grateful for? What are you thankful for? You can write down one thing every single day. Each day, it's the same format. So, you know, if you want to write down one or two things each day, one or two new things each day. You know, it kind of goes back to the verse in Proverbs 23, 7, where it says, as a man thinketh, so he becomes. 
we got to think on these things. We got to fix our mind on on gratefulness, on um, uh, just peace and love and all those things. And not so much dwelling on um, the anxiety, the worry, whatever's causing us, you know, discomfort or pain or whatever it is. And then the last part of each day is just this daily declaration. Um, it's a short daily declaration based off this prayer and the verse. And it's, it's really just a, a short little, I don't know, pump up, motivational, biblical declaration you can tell yourself. So the one for day one is when my anxiety, worry, depression, or fear increases today, I will turn to you, Lord. Your comfort and your presence brings peace and joy. And then carry that with you throughout your day. So anyways, I'm really, really excited about this. I think, I, I hope uh, it, it's on Amazon. I'll include the link for this um, in the description below. Uh, it, it's, it's small. Uh, you can take it with you throughout your day. Throw it in your car, throw it in your purse, your backpack. Um, you, know, you know, the way I do 21 day devotionals, uh, once I get done with the 21 days, I just go back to the beginning because odds are, you know, I usually forget stuff that I read in day one or day two or day three by the time I finish it. So get some highlighters, get some color pens, really kind of dive into this. Um, you know, we're, we're all uh, we're all fighting, we're all battling something, and and we need specific biblical and spiritual tools and weapons to to fight back with. And and I think um, that's what I tried to do with this. This journal is rooted in the Word of God. It's not rooted in what I think. It's not rooted in what Gareth thinks or what Gareth feels. It's rooted in the Bible. Every single day is a verse. Every single day is a prayer from that verse. Um, so it's rooted in the Bible, the living and breathing Word of God. So anyways, um, I love y'all. I hope this encourages you. I hope it blesses you. Um, it's on Amazon. I'll include the link for that down below. Uh, I'm going to continue to crank out the, U the, the YouTube worship videos and the tutorials and the songs and all that stuff very soon. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm very prayerful that this um, will help uh, and, and encourage you if, if you're in a tough season. So love y'all. Talk to you soon.